Okay guys, just want to show you got uh, some uh, new stuff at the uh, local hobby shop. Come to find out they're either selling the place or closing it down. Um, sad part is you can get stuff cheaper from uh, MB Klein than you can go to the local stores. I don't know why that is, but I went ahead and bought some stuff anyhow because I was there. Got these two uh, Genesis tank cars. Look really nice, details good. I haven't run them yet, get ready to run them a little bit now. This little Atlas tanker. Nice little car, very detailed for 24 bucks from Atlas. I'm kind of impressed. Got the caboose, been want one of those for a while. Found it there, actually I had like three or four there, so I went ahead and picked that up. And then I got this Walther's uh, quill car. Yeah, details got to be put on there, which is surprising. I mean, it's gold line, but so uh, it's gonna probably turn out to be a really nice little car. Other than that, not much going on. I did uh, get this uh, GP40X um, it's DC, no adapter or anything. I'll do all that later. I just thought it was a neat little locomotive when he bought it. Um, making some rocks over here for the mountain. I did put a couple on. I'm going to do more than that, paint them up. I have to pull all that loose so I can glue the track down and uh, paint it anyhow. And then do some uh, detailing here in this uh, ravine so that I can put the uh, girder bridge back. And I'm working on the uh, Trestle bridge. Got one more made, small one. I gotta make one more and then I'll start uh, putting it in. I'll be pretty cool when I'm done. Other than that, that's about it. So, uh, give me hey guys, this is a real quick, uh, real quick how to install a decoder or a speaker in a Genset Atlas Trainman Genset. First thing I gotta say is this thing. I'm impressed for 80 bucks. I am impressed with the details and whatnot, like the handrails. They're a little thick, but they hold up well. I think it runs good, but anyhow, I put a uh, tsunami in there just because I like the sound from them. Put it in, double sided sticky tape where the old decoder came off. Put the speaker up inside. Didn't pay, didn't pay any attention, realized not enough room in there. Of course, I went to YouTube and found out that take one screw out here, out of the back side of the locomotive. This piece comes off, and lo and behold, perfect match for the speaker. Can you do it? Fumbling around. Couple screws, put it back in, you're done. And may even be upside down. I have to double check out there, put it in. I just found this out on YouTube, so I thought I'd do this real quick before I got it all together. The only thing I don't like about the tsunami is that it does not bolt down. And if you don't insulate it from the frame, I'm sure it'll short out. Um, I'll do a uh, do another video later on about uh, how I hooked up the details. I did put the uh, surface mounts 0402s on the front. I'm going to dab off CA glue in the corner. That way if I have to pull them off when they go bad, so be it. I can just pop that off. Shouldn't be too bad. I actually glued it or stuck it in the hole to the pitch lights and then put some electrical tape over the back to keep the light from shining through. Did that on both the front. The rear, of course, since you don't have more uh, effects pads to go to use it. I went ahead and just wired the old light LED lights that came with the locomotive up on the rear so when the headlights are on they'll be on all the time. Won't flash. You can't turn them off unless you turn the headlights off. So but, uh, I'm gonna try that see how I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, 
try to put this speaker in and then we'll be back shortly. Okay, I'm back. I went ahead and put a new wire on. You have to mount the speaker with the speaker facing down the magnet up. If you don't, of course, it hits all the uh, driving mechanisms, gears, and whatnot in there. I just tested it. It works fine. I'm gonna put it back together, and then I'll show you the uh, show you how it operates after I've got it all finished. Uh... Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, finally, got everything installed. I had a terrible time with the capacitor that comes on the soundtrack board. Um, there's no room that I could find to put it. I tried sticking it under things. It, just get on the uh, driving mechanisms and everything, so couldn't put it there. Finally, had to even try to put it up in the nose. It wouldn't fit. It was still keeping it up just a little bit too high, the shell. So I had to take my Dremel tool and cut the uh, body off, the weights, just a little bit, so they give it a little room to stick in there. And it was tight, still tight. I actually had to on the uh, cupper box. I had to file the bottom of the. Uh, snow pile just to get it back in there uh, you can't really tell looks fine but uh, I went back and changed some uh, CVs on a JMRI and uh, changed the horn and what else I think that's it so that for a second. By the way, I found out looking online, this is not prototypical for CSX at least. I didn't check the uh, NS or anybody. CSX has the nose light. This light is removed. The horns are brought down and put where the lights are. I don't know if I'm going to go through all that or not. I might later on. We'll see. Still want to weather it and everything later on.
by And if the time comes, I ain't trying to die I'm just trying to fly and get a little love Find me a down piece and get a little hug Hook the car 